What is going on, New York Giants fans? Welcome to another video from Hit Squad Productions. In this video, we're going to break down the most recent news of the New York Giants that actually came out today. The schedule leak, we're going to break down the games, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on them. Now, before we do that, I want to say, if you're new to the channel, join the family, become a squad member, hit that subscribe button, join the Hit Squad family. We're almost at 400 subscribers. I know we're going to hit that mark. Let's hit that mark. Share this with your friends. If you have a Twitter, follow us on Twitter. We will follow you back. You know, that's where you can reach us most easily. But let's get into this video. So, Honestly, if you're asking me, <laughs> I don't think that there's been this much excitement about a schedule release in quite some time. Honestly, really just like the anticipation behind the schedule coming out was beyond me. And honestly, I, I, I was a part of that too because I was really excited with what, who are we going to play? Who are we going to play week one? Because I wanted Philly. I wanted those damn birds, them, th those <laughs> those chickens, man. I, I, I wanted them. And unfortunately, we're not going to be playing them week one. We're actually not going to play them until week 12, man. Week 12. But let's break this down. So week one, we're going to be going against the Denver Broncos. Now, Denver... Look, I, I, they're actually favored in this game, which I don't really understand. I don't trust Drew Locke nor Teddy Bridgewater unless they go and get Aaron Rodgers, which I am I feel like that's what the NFL is banking on right now. I don't see that really. I don't see it happening. I, I, I don't see the Broncos stopping this New York Giants offense. You know, Denver has an above average defense, but I'm seeing way too many people on Twitter treating this Denver defense like it's the 2015 Denver defense. Von Miller's up there in age. He's been dealing with some injuries. Bradley Chubb is solid, but they don't have the same linebacking core that they used to. They did go out and get Patrick Sertain. You know, they do have a nice um, safety duo back there, but outside of that, I mean, do you really trust Drew Locke? Do you really trust Pat Shermer to outsmart Patrick Graham? Because I don't. I really don't. I, th I really do think that this will be a good game for the New York Giants to not only just build that chemistry together, you know, with the new players, but this could be a very good game for the New York Giants to, you know, really start the train and I, I think with that leading to week two because week two is a, is a really nice game I, I, I just I, I don't see the Denver Bron uh the Denver Broncos excuse me beating the New York Giants I really don't um, um, I really do have high expectations for Daniel Jones in this offense I'm really excited to see what Saquon Barkley is going to do and I trust that going into the second year in the system we should see a more improved product on the field than what we saw last year. Now, going into week two, we play the Washington football team on Thursday night football. To me, I love Thursday night football. I know some people don't like it. Um, I actually like Thursday night football. I love primetime games, period. I love when the lights are all on you, the world is watching. And what better way, what better way to knock out your Thursday primetime game against a divisional opponent in the Washington football team. Now, granted, look, I'm going to give Washington some credit. You know, they had a good offseason. They went out and got Curtis Samuel. You know, they got some weapons. They addressed the defense in the draft. They already had a solid defense as well. But you get Ryan Fitzpatrick, and you still don't address your quarterback position. Look, I like Ryan Fitzpatrick more, uh, you know, just as much as the next guy. But we all know the kind of quarterback that Ryan Fitzpatrick is, regardless of how good he does in the game. He's going to give you a two, three-game stretch where he looks like he can be that guy. And then he's going to start showing you who he really is. And he's just a turnover machine that could put up stats. I love Ryan Fitzpatrick, but that's really what he is. And Daniel Jones, let's be real. We all get on Daniel Jones because really the only teams that he's beaten – <laughs> have been the Washington football team, man. They've they have been a team that the New York Giants have bullied for years. They're a team that Daniel Jones has bullied since he's entered in the league. And I really do see the Giants winning this game. I see the Giants really starting off two and zero. And I don't think that's unreasonable when you ask any Giants fans. Now, re, uh, week three. We do play the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta has a new head coach in Arthur Smith who came over from the Tennessee Titans. You know, they also got Kyle Pitts. Matt Ryan is still there. They're going to have a whole new defense since Dan Quinn got fired and is now with the Dallas Cowboys. But Atlanta, 
They still have Julio Jones. They still have Calvin Ridley. They still have uh, Gage over there. They still have Hayden Hurts. They still have, um, like I said, they drafted Kyle Pitts. You know, this is still a deadly offense. Now, where they do lack at is on the defensive side of the ball. They had one of the worst defenses last year in the league. In the league. Their offense has never really been a problem. It's always been their defense. So, to me, with the additions that they made on defense, they really didn't improve that defense. So, to me... The New York Giants, look, last year, they weren't getting into shootouts with nobody. We really relied on our defense. But if there were to be a game this year that the New York Giants could get into a shootout with, I could absolutely see it being the Atlanta Falcons. Now, in week four, we play the New Orleans Saints. Now, Drew Brees... You know, he's going to be going into a studio, you know, and they have Jameis Winston starting. They still have weapons on that offense. I still trust Sean Payton. They have a solid defense. They still have Michael Thomas and Alva Kamara. So that's a game to where, you know, I feel like they have the right weapons. They have the right coaches and they have the right defense, you know, for a quarterback to really succeed in that in that team. Um, And if you're asking me, that's going to be a good game. Uh, That's going to be a very good game. And, uh. I'm really interested to see how Daniel Jones plays in the Dome. Now, week five, we play the Dallas Cowboys. I'm very excited for this game, actually. You know, this is going to be our first time playing Dallas since, you know, Dak Prescott got injured. You know, with Dallas, they made some additions on the defensive side. Their biggest addition was getting Micah Parsons in the trade back with Philly. But outside of that, I mean, they didn't really do much on the defensive side for me to say that, you know, they made great improvements on that defensive side of the ball. Now, they went and hired Dan Quinn, but if you're asking me, this defense could still be had. They don't have any corners. They don't have any safeties. Really, they just have a decent front line and a nice linebacking core. But, again, they could be had. If you're asking me, this is going to be a good game as well. I'm very excited to see how Really how this offense progresses. You know, we need to see Jason Garrett expand the playbook some more. We saw in this game that really this was the game that Daniel Jones really aired out the ball. This was the game that, you know, we saw some special teams uh, tricks up Joe Judge's sleeve. And we're going to see more of that going into this season. And honestly... I think a lot of people in the media are really underestimating how good this New York Giants team can actually be. You know, we made great additions, not just on the offensive side of the ball, but on the defensive side of the ball as well. With the additions of Afedi Adetabo, you go get a Dory Jackson, you then go out and get Aziz Ojolari with the 50th overall pick. Man... This defense is going to be great. I'm very excited for how this offense is going to do. And I can't wait to... I can't wait to sweep the division, man. I'm saying it here. I can't wait to sweep the division. Now, in week six, we're going to be playing the Los Angeles Rams. That's going to be a very interesting game to me. Matthew Stafford's going to be in a great system, in Sean McVay's system. Honestly... Man, we, we, we should have really beaten the Rams last year. We didn't. That was a good game. I If you ask me, I think that was the turning point in the season where we saw a different Giants team on that field compared to what we were seeing in the weeks, pri- uh, the weeks prior. But I'm very excited to see the matchups that are going to be on that field. I think that what we have on the offensive side of the ball really matches up well to the Los Angeles Rams' defense. But that's going to be a good game. That's going to be a good game, but uh, definitely Daniel Jones is not going to, he's not going to be going into no, you know, easy schedule, man. I mean, these are some good defenses outside of Atlanta and really Dallas that he's going to be going against so far. Now, in week seven, we have us playing the Carolina Panthers. Um, we should have beaten them the first time we played them uh, with Saquon Barkley and uh, Odell Beckham on the field. We didn't. That was a very heartbreaking game, but if you ask me, the Giants should be able to come away with the W in this game. I mean, I like Sam Darnold. I like the pieces that they added. I like J.C. Horn. At the same time, I do think that what we have on the offensive side of the ball, and especially on the defensive side of the ball, could just be a little bit too overwhelming for Matt Rule and his cast. But I, 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 I like our chances, man. I like our chances. Now, we do have a primetime game against Kansas City. That's going to be, look, 
that's going to be a one, a fun game, but that's going to be a very long game, man. I mean, if you can't stop Patrick Mahomes, we, we, we've seen him drop 50 on people. And I'm not saying that's going to happen, but this, has, this is going to be a game that the defense is going to have to get to Patrick Mahomes and Daniel Jones is going to have to put points on the board. Because if not, you're looking at a... <laughs> You're looking at a long night, man, and this will really, really tell us who this team is. And I think that with us going against uh, a Super Bowl contending team, a former Super Bowl, um, you know, winning team and MVP player um, in Patrick Mahomes, this is a scary team. This is a scary team, guys. And uh, do I like our chances to win it? No, but um, why not? Why not, man? I mean, why can't we stop Kansas City? If you could put pressure on Patrick Mahomes, we saw what happened. And, you know, they did some good things to the offensive line. They got some weapons in the draft. But still, that offensive line has to develop chemistry. The offensive line has to make sure that Patrick Mahomes has enough time to get the ball out. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a high-scoring game, whether that's for Kansas City and the Giants or whether that's just for Kansas City. It's going to be a high-scoring game. But um, we got Week 9 uh, with the Las Vegas Raiders. This is going to be uh, one of those games to where I don't fully believe in the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, I don't like the way that they draft. I don't like the way that they approach free agency. It seems very lazy, and I've seen other Raiders fans say the same thing. Um, I could see the Giants absolutely going out and winning this game. Again, I don't believe in the Raiders whatsoever. Um, yeah, that's really all I got to say about that. You know, Henry Ruggs, that's a good player for them. Darren Waller, good player. Josh Jacobs, great player. But at the same time, their defense is very, very suspect. They don't seem to get the best value at the defensive uh, position when they address it. Um, I thought that they reached in the draft for a player that they could have gotten in the second round. Um, but again, I don't believe in the Las Vegas Raiders. I can see the New York Giants winning this game. Week 10, we have a bye. Now, in week 11, we play another primetime game in Tampa against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Super Bowl winning team, man. We should have absolutely beaten them last year. And that was, honestly, if you ask me, the worst game Daniel Jones played last year by, by far, man. Um, but I think that with the additions that we made, I think that, you know, us really trying to prove, you know, that we're a better team than what we were last year and that we should have beaten you last year. The New York Giants, this should be a fairly close game. I like the matchups on both sides of the ball for both teams. I think that this would be a game that the New York Giants could squeak out. I think that this would be a, a you know, surprising win, but I, I like our odds. I like, you know, the additions that Tampa made. You know, they were able to bring back pretty much their entire team from last year and still have a solid draft. So for me, that's going to be a good game. I could see the Giants squeak out a win, but I'm not going to count on it. But I'm going to try to also go to that game as well because it's going to be a Tampa. Now, week 12, we finally, finally get the Philadelphia Eagles. That's a win. The New York Giants are going to prove a point with the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm telling you this now. They are going to prove a point with the Philadelphia Eagles. Don't, don't be surprised if the New York Giants drop a lot of points this game. Do not be surprised if the New York Giants drop a lot of points this game is all I'm going to say. Week 13, we got Miami. I don't fully trust Tua. I like the additions that they made, especially on the offensive side of the ball for Tua Tagovailoa. But I'm not too sold on Tua. I like what they have on the de uh, defensive side of the ball. They went and got Jalen Phillips. They already had a good defense last year that really kept them in games. Um, but this is going to be a good game. It's going to be nice and close. So I can see the New York Giants absolutely coming out with the win. Um, I could also see the New York Giants kind of fumbling this game. You know, usually you have one of the games in the year that the Giants fumble that they really shouldn't. And uh, I could absolutely see this, but we usually beat Miami. So I'm counting on us to do that again. Now, week 14, we're going to be, play, uh, be playing the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, <laughs> a lot of people, especially Washington football fans, really underestimate how good the Chargers are going to be. Justin Herbert had a phenomenal rookie season last year and set the rookie touchdown record. Um, he's looking like a uh, like a freaking veteran, man. I'm very excited to see what you know uh, what Justin Herbert and that offense does. Now they are going to be in a new offensive scheme under a new head coach, so that definitely plays a part. But I trust that Justin Herbert, Keenan Allen, and Mike Tom, uh, Michael Will Mike Williams over there will get that situated. They have a solid defense over there too. So to me, this is going to be a good game. Um, do I like our odds? Absolutely. Um, but I also really like the Chargers' odds as well just because Justin Herbert 
just from what we saw last year against him going against some of the best defenses in the league, he carved them up as a rookie. So I really like what they have. I like what we have on the field as well. This is going to be a good game. Week 16, we play Dallas. I do see at this point the Giants pushing for a playoff, uh, a playoff spot and trying to win the division. And I can see the New York Giants winning this game as well as week 16 against Philly because I have a sweeping Philly. I have Philly actually being the fourth team in the division with five wins. Yes, five wins. Wins. Um, and then week 17, uh, excuse me, we play Chicago. Chicago has a very hard schedule, which is good for the New York Giants fans uh, because, you know, we traded with Chicago and got their first round pick for this year, uh, excuse me, for next year coming up. Um, but they have a very hard schedule. I can see the New York Giants winning this game so that they can help their chances of having a better draft pick. Uh, but you know, we're going to see how, you know, uh, the Chicago Bears are going to be. You know, they're saying that they're going to start Andy Dalton. They're not going to start Justin Fields. And if that's the case, I have no issues with that. Because, again, they have a hard schedule. You know, I really want them to be within the top five or at least the top ten. That'll do it for me. But I like our odds to win that game. Week 18, we have the Washington football team. I can see us absolutely winning this game. Like, like I said earlier, we usually don't have a problem beating Washington. I'm not sold on Washington as much as everybody else. But, you know, I, I like our odds. I like our schedule. I know that we have a relatively hard schedule compared to the Philadelphia Eagles who have the easiest schedule. But, again, I like our odds. I really do think that this team is going to be a lot better than what we think. I think that this offense is going to be fairly good and this defense will be top five. But let me know your thoughts below on the schedule. How do you guys feel about this? Give me your thoughts. Let us know below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.